All right, everybody. I'm gonna show off some Honda Ridgeline shenanigans. 2007 Honda Ridgeline. We're gonna show off here. We got a drive shaft issue. Basically, short story. Um, took it out to diagnose. We have major vibrations coming into this vehicle. So, besides warped rotors and uh, shimmy on the pedal when you brake, that's not too big a deal. We got what feels like a wheel or something trying to come off, but this wheel bearing's toast. So we're gonna do wheel bearing. I already did the rack and pinion. Anybody ever wants to know how to do that, you should hit me up on uh, the Facebook. I can go live with you, tell you how to do such things. Um, gonna be starting to do consultant style things online from home. You got wrenches, you know how to work on your rigs, but you don't know how to get the thing apart or do something. Need to know a trick. Hit me up, man. Michael Moore's on Facebook. So, yeah. Enough of that. But, but anyhow. We got CV shafts that are kind of loose a little bit. But they're not, like, crazy enough that I can say that that was causing the vibration we were feeling. The brake pads are still full enough. We don't need to worry about them. But... Let's get under here and show off what's actually going down. Let's see if the uh, camera will do this any justice here. Ooh. You hear that? That's a nasty U joint. And that will cause a severe vibration. Especially if it gets just off to one side at all, one way or another. And when you have dry bearings like that, they will typically move and then cause vibration. And you wonder what the hell is going on, like we did. Well, you take the drive shaft out, you can tell. But if the drive shaft is up in that vehicle, um, bolted to that flange, and Sarah carry bearing gets bolted there, and the end, of course, on the rear end. But way it's set up you can't really feel this unless the u-joint gets loose enough that it wiggles up and down and side to side in this case it wasn't wiggling but as you heard the crunchy the needles are gone starting to go bye-bye so yeah both u-joints are gone called around parts stores say no go i called the local drive shaft people though and well, not local, local, about an hour or more away. They can get me a drive shaft for these people for uh, just under 600 bucks. So, rather than spend $1,200 with the local Honda dealership, because they told me $1,200 for that there. I'm not trying to do that to people. So, that's what's up with the Ridgeline project. Uh, turn around and get a little side shot of her. She's a beautiful rig. You ever get the chance to own one they're pretty badass i love them love hondas can't wait to own a ridge line myself someday but it's fun taking care of stuff for people at least we're gonna solve this here vibration problem put that rig back together test drive it again and i'll do a confirmation video at some point and let y'all know what i've learnt or not Nice.